Hello guys, welcome to the channel. I hope you all are fine and doing great. Today we are going to discuss this very interesting GFG program of the day, bitwise and of the array. So guys, let's move on to the problem. So here we are given a integer n that is the size of our array x the value that uh, a value x okay for now it is just and a vector a and here what we have to do we can change and the e the any integer of our array a to any integer okay here it is written we can change any element of the array to any integer okay for any range like we can change all integers or we don't need to change any integer and we have to find out the minimum number of such operation required means the minimum number of number the minimum number of element we need to change so that the bitwise end of all the elements of our array is strictly yes strictly greater than x so here x is equal to 2 so bitwise end of our array should be greater than 2 means it is at least 3 okay so now let's move on to the problem so here if we change these two number 1 and 2 to 3 and 11 then uh, our bitwise end is equal to 3 as here it is 3 3 and 3 is equal to 3 3 and 11 is equal to 3 because both contain 1 and second bit and in 7 also we have 1 and 2 bit so our bitwise end is equal to 3 here you can see or you can solve it by on also here as you can see the bitwise end is equal to 2 and our x is equal to 1 so our already uh, our already bitwise end of the array is greater than the x so the answer is equal to 0 so how we will solve it how we will solve it so basically here we are given the size here the vector and here the value x so first of all you should know the range of our number ai and x so uh, a max a max is equal to uh, it is max okay suppose it is max is equal to x is equal to can be maximum 1 uh, 10 power 9 and the power of 2 raised to the power 30 is greater than 10 raised to the power 9 okay it is something 1 0 2 okay it is something 10 to 5 okay it is greater than 10 raised to the power 9 okay the main thing is this so uh, so you understand the uh, here as you can see it is bitwise and okay so here we have to work on the bits okay and the uh, so the first of all you need to find out the maximum the most significant bit you have to use so the most significant bit that you can use is 30 here okay because if our x is maximum that is 10 raised to the power 9 then also if we use only the 38 bit 38 bit then the value of our, this particular bit is greater than our x okay so this is the maximum bit which we will use here so now let's move on to the solution now how we will do it we are taking a variable current now what is current our current hmm, I should take this our current will store the bits the bits okay oh, the bits till ith bit from from 30 to 0 from 30 to 0 for all eyes it will store the number that contain the bits and these bits are also involved in our x like if we have x is equal to 7 okay like if we have x is equal to 7 then x can be represented as 1 2 uh, 1 2 and uh, suppose it is uh, 11 suppose it is 11 okay suppose it is 11 Th this is 0 at base this is first this is second this is third so till fourth bit because we are coming here from uh, we are coming here from 38 bit to 4th bit from 38 to 4th till 4th bit our current will be is equal to 0 uh, till here our current will be is equal to 0 from here to here then at 3rd bit it is is equal to 1 means it will contain like it is like 1 0 0 and 0 so the value you can say is 8 because the value of our 3rd bit it is so at index 3 our value of current is equal to 8 now 
I change the color so that it is more clear to you now. Okay, here we will we'll talk about this number. Okay, so for zero, for when it is zero, so our this current will remain same because it is zero at the rate. Now we have we had compute function with this. Now when we are at one, our current our current will change to 1 0 1 0 value is equal to 10 value is equal to 10 i am telling you the bit by visual and when we are at 0 our current will be is equal to uh, 1 0 1 1 and value is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 8 is equal to 11 okay the value is equal to this okay so this is how our current will update by bits by bits. Suppose if at index 17, I have a bits 1. So at index 17, at index 17, it is 0, it is 0 till 18 and at 17, it will look like 1, then 16, 0. Then 16, 0 and it will remain same uh, for uh, 4 bits 4. Then it will update like first bit, then uh, like it is bit number 17. From bit number 16 to bit number 4 it is 0 then at bit number 3 it is 1 because our bit 3 is equal to 1 so this is how our current will update it, it is updated bit by bit if if for, for a particular bit i if a particular bit i if our x t x i th bit is 1 then our current i th bit is equal to 1 else while current ith bit is equal to 0 or you can say unchanged so now now how we will solve it so we will start in in from 30 to 0 at bit why we will start it like this suppose if we have a number like from bit number 29 to bit number 0 um, to bit number 0 we have all ones suppose for a minute we have we are given a uh, five number suppose uh, we are given two number only okay and we have from 0 to 29 because this is a maximum number because as i told you third eight th uh, two raised to the power 30 will exceed exceed the range will exceed the range that is 10 raised to the power 9 so our maximum number can be contain all of these bits but it can never be this 30 bit okay so 30 bit is always uh, is equal to 0 or you can say unset 30 bit will never be a set bit so we will start from this bit we will check here we will check is our 38 bit is uh, and suppose our x is equal to x is equal to also same suppose our x is equal to also same 1 to 1 from 29 to 30 suppose for a minute it is this suppose for a minute it is this then as we are starting from 30 for 30 we will check if if this 38 bit is set in our x you will find no no then what you will do you will update your current okay uh, our your current will remain same because it is zero because we are currently at this bit okay so we don't need these bits at the moment so this bit is not set in our x okay but it means it means our x may be contain these any bit set or no we don't uh, we don't worry about it we at the moment we know this bit is not set in our x then what if we set this bit in all the numbers okay maybe in some numbers like suppose it is one here already suppose for a minute okay like it cannot be possible because it is 30 but suppose here we don't we have zero and here we have one and in x we have zero in 30 position we have zero then how we will check we will take a variable t or you can say temp and doing current is our current number like we, when we are at this uh, like at 14 then we will take current or ith bit set we will set ith bit mainly okay here one like this like we will set our ith bit the main function we need to do so our current will look like this uh, sorry our t will look like this 1 and 0 to 0 21 to 0 times then we will take the end of this end of this t to all all of the values of k and we check if we have 
we have all the t bits in how many number we have all the t bits when we're doing and with t to 0th number then we will get 0 we will get 0 why 0 because we don't uh, what condition we are checking our t and k k is the element of our k whether this is is equal to t what does this means what does this mean this means in in each element k and when we are doing and with t then all the bits all the bits that we have in our t should be in our k element also if it is then we will uh, make it one as well zero here it is zero so zero here it is one so it is one. so our count is equal to one okay because for one number only because for one number only we have a set bit so now what we can do our answer should be should be is equal to minimum of should be minimum of our answer suppose we have already some answer our answer or n that is size minus c now y minus c why this n minus c n is the size of our array and c is the number of bits that have at least t bits and as i told you in in our x we does we have our ith bit unset our 38 bit is not set and if we set this ith bit in in all of these number then like suppose what i want to say now just a minute what i want to say is here when we are work doing function with our 38 bit our 38 bit is zero but if we set our 38 bit in all of these number in all of this number then the end of this number end of this number like here suppose for a minute if this is one and this is zero for all this is one and this is zero for all this is our a1 a0 or this is our a1 and what is our our x is equal to this first bit is uh, what is our x this first bit is zero then one then one for all the numbers okay then one for all the numbers and here what we are doing we are seeing if we take end of this then for what will get out the end of what is the end one and zero so this is end so which is greater and we have to find out the strictly greater than x okay greater than so this end is greater than our x because here the higher bit is set here the higher bit is unset so we have our answer is equal to zero because this bit is set in both and suppose if here we don't have set this bit then we will set it in just one count and our answer will be is equal to one okay our answer will be is equal to one because we will update this number to one zero to zero okay i hope you understand it if we don't have a ith bit set in our x then we will try to set this particular bit in all the numbers we will check we will check whether these bit are set in our element k if yes then we will increment our c if this condition is satisfied then we will increment our c c means count in this condition else while we just continue and at last we will check answer is equal to minimum answer comma n minus c you can see here if my and suppose like here suppose one more condition suppose if our suppose if our a0 is equal to this and our yes our a is like this and and this is this is a0 this is a1 and this is x is equal to 1 0 0 1 suppose th this is 1 here yeah. suppose and this is any bit so from till this particular bit uh, this is the bit 0 1 2 3 4 5 so this is 6 bit till bit 6 till bit 6 our current is equal to 0 current is equal to 0 at bit 5 at bit 5 our current will update because i told you it will update according to the bit in our x here 5 fifth bit is set uh, sorry here not here here our fifth bit is set so it is will set and 4 0 1 2 uh, sorry 5 0 5 0 okay 1 2 3 4 5 5 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 okay 
0.1234501234s okay so now this is current is equal to and we just continue we will not check why we will not check because this is our this is our set bit in our x means we at least need this bit we at least need this bit now why we would need it because we have this bit set in our x and we have to find out the strictly greater than x okay so we have we should at least have this bit okay so we just continue i hope you will understand if not then check out for binary theory its theory okay else why at bit 4 this is unset your current will remain will remain same current will remain same it is or i can write same okay it remains same and we are come at here this is c is count t is equal to i told you c t is e is equal to here i told you current current what is current this and we will try to set this particular bit try will if we will try this bit then what will our t will be like this 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 and now we will taking and with this and with this if we taking and with this then why are we getting these both uh, these both bits set no so here zero c is equal to zero here here also we don't find c is equal to c remains zero here so c remains zero and our answer is equal to int max or you can say n because maximum number of bits we need to change all the numbers so our answer cannot exceed n at any moment okay so our answer will be here became two or, or you can say remains two i i am changing it i because answer can never be exceed n because in the first case we have to operate all the n bits all the n numbers you can say okay so answer is equal to 2 now so here i will write i i will write my answer is equal to 2 means we have to write all the bits uh, no 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 i don't need to erase everything so now so now yes so we have completed now this bit also so we are at now third bit so we will try to set this so our t will now look like so our t will now look like 0 1 we will take and with this and with this whether and with and with this gives us this two bit set answer is no so c remains 0 with this yes because this bit and this bit is set here so our c is equal to 1 so so what we can what we can see if we update our this number if we update our this number by putting a bit here by putting a bit here and the bitwise end of this number contain a bit at this position so and this number is greater than our x because if we have a set bit here then it will always greater than uh, greater than the x so our answer will remains answer will update to 1 so our, now our answer update to 1 because we need to only update one value now now we complete this now we are at second bit second bit is set no so we will try to set this so we will get uh, 100 zero zero. this is one this is one we will try to take and this we will get yes with this we will get no so our answer remains one because now our x if we update this number then our this bit will be set okay so i hope you all understand okay so now we will we will try now we are at this bit this bit is set yes so our answer so our answer will update now our answer will update now to one and we don't take any because this is the at least number we need so we complete this now we are at the last bit we are at the last bit so this bit is zero so we will try we will try to set it so our answer will be like this and because here we have a fourth bit set so this is set so we will take modulo with uh, sorry and with this answer is zero and here answer is zero so our here c is equal to zero so answer is equal to minimum answer commas and minus c so here n minus c is 2 so our answer will 1 so we will just return 1 so 1 is our answer here and suppose if we have if we have this bit set 
suppose if we have this width set suppose for a minute then what we have to do what we have to do suppose if this width is that it is this all for a minute it is this all for a minute i will explain you more better in more better way these all bits are set now we will continue we will not need to check because these three are the bits then that should be in our answer this is the because our current is the at least number that should be in our answer that these contain the bits that should be in my each and every element of a vector a so that when i will to end these bits at least i will get and uh, as my bitwise end of the array so here here you will our answer is equal to one now why it is done when we are not doing performance uh, any operation in this because we are doing operation on bit number this on on bit number this uh, i will mark it with some different color like bit number this bit number this bit number c these three are unset and above further bits are also unset so i check for all the bits that i can unchange okay so i hope you all understand it here you can see i update if my bit is set then i just update it and if you don't need if you don't understand what is one what is one this this i like suppose if i is equal to zero initially this number will represent a one and if our i is equal to two then what it will move two times here like it is zero zero one so this way is second bit so here one modulo a uh, one right shift i will represent as the ith bit at the ith bit similarly here we will take or we will take or here we are updating the occur while we are here taking the curry in our temporary number and check whether all k and t is equal to t means contain at least t and update my answer accordingly then i just return my answer so i just submit it i can compile and run it also but i need things to submit it directly so no problem at all so you can see all the 1 lakh 20 thousand and 10 cases are passed out a lot much cases this, this problem have and time taken is also very low i hope you will understand it if not then then just try to dry run it because i also uh, i also take time take some time to understand it this is my review this, this is an opinion to you if you don't understand it because this is the basic approach to solve this problem in o n in o log n time in the in the given time complexity also you can use the permutation and combination of all the all the 30 bits and track and can solve it but this is the minimum least time complexity you will require at least to solve the problem here you can say you are solving it in maximum 30 n maximum 30 n if our x is 0 then also you just uh, you just run this loop means o n operation o n is the length o n operation uh, 30 times so it is 30 n this is uh, approximately linear approach you can say okay this is the way you will solve it if you have any problem in this i explain you why this left shift or right shift i and if not then you can check any video on youtube or read about online on gfg you will go a brief review about it but for now i suggest you to dry run it because this is a mathematical problem and for this you need to dry run it you have to dry run it on pen and paper then you will understand it in in a much better way dry run it for for given five or six cases one case i can give you is this uh, no it is i think i erase it so fun case you will submit it you can submit it also okay like this case dry run it for make some test cases and try to dry run it you will you will understand it but i actually want to say okay so for now i hope you will understand it and if you then please like the video and if still you have any doubt then just comment out i will try my best to explain you so please like the video, subscribe the channel and check out my channel for more these type of video. Thank you for watching this guys. Stay tuned.